All right, guys, we're out here on the Chickahominy right now. It's a uh, high tide outgoing. We're just gonna run around and try to throw a spinnerbait, chatterbait, maybe do some flipping, try to see if we can figure something out and figure out how to catch some bass. So stay tuned. Ticked off a piece of grass or wood. Look at that one right there, fellas. Look at that. First fish of the day. Solid one. On the chatter bay. Uh, what I was doing there was. I know there's a, usually a grass line here and there's some little stick ups and things like that and I just got a bunch of waypoints on all of them and I was just running down casting kind of fan casting casting down that line and just slow rolling it and I ticked something and then literally after three turns of the handle he came up and smoked it some moments like these where some of my stuff put some different stuff on and just reset from the boat. Just snuck around the corner and picked them off. <laughs> like I said, when things get tough, he comes out. <laughs> little chunk looks like he hasn't spawned yet Top of the mouth. On the creature bait again, guys. Like I said, when things get tough, that's what I go to right there. Just do me a favor. You go buy them. Don't buy them all. Because I still need to buy some.
guys so i'm just going to do a quick recap of today on chickahominy you know it's post spawn you know still spawn post spawn mainly post spawn conditions and we had a flood tide so you know it was high tide was super high low tide was about normal high tide and it started off good you know i was throwing a chatterbait caught a four and a half pounder but that died instantly you know i couldn't get another bite on a moving bait you know for the next you know better part of the day and so I was trying to figure out how to get bites, you know, trying to adjust. And you can't ever be afraid to adjust. You know me, I'm a power fisherman, but I still have to adjust. And it's hard for me to do sometimes. You know, I'll lock something in my hand and just cover water, cover water, cover water, and it's not working. So it's something I've been working on trying to do, you know. So I went to an area I know that had fish that I've been catching them in before. And I picked up the Gary Yamamoto creature bait again. And I just started flipping around, you know, the trees and docks, laydowns, any piece of wood in, in the water. And it instantly I started getting bites, you know, and they weren't bad bites. I was catching, you know, two pounders, two and a half, threes. But what that did is, I mean, that gives me the confidence to slow down. You know, every time I come out on the water, I'm always thinking about tournament scenarios. And I'm always thinking about how I can improve my decision making on the water and a lot of that is having confidence and being able to slow down and pick things apart and downsize my downsize my tackle and that's a lot of what I was really working on today too once once I couldn't get bent on that chatterbait that's exactly where my mind went and it, it is key to be able to pick those areas apart because I was able to catch six or seven fish I would have filled out a limit quickly no problem 10 pound limit easy out of there with you know throwing that creature bait and once that wind though picked up later in the day I was able to get out back on you know get get on the main lake some more and get around some of those flats and some of the flooded trees and throw that chatter bait and I was able to pick up another four and a half five pounder and then a three pounder as well but it basically with it being it, with the post spawn I believe a lot of these fish are pulling out of the creeks they're you know they're starting to move off kind of off the flats but they're just going to the first available cover that is there and it seems like any lay down any tree right now that seems to be the, seems to be where most of the fish that I've been catching are at you know early in the morning I can get on those flats above those pads and stuff when they're feeding and catch them you know throwing this chatter bait or spinner bait along the tops and through all that but the main thing is I'm just trying to teach you guys you know help with maybe getting you guys that fish tournaments as well and probably help myself too and getting in that mindset of being able to change when I need to change you know I mean because I, I, I know some of my 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 defects on the water are sticking with something just because I've caught big fish on it like a chatterbait or spinnerbait or crankbait and I will run that because I just think any moment it's gonna happen but I've gotten really good at like today like I knew I knew right off the bat after I got that bite on a chatterbait and I didn't get another bite for 20 minutes I knew it wasn't gonna happen and so I, I made a move picked up the creature bait started flipping around and bam 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 you know I just started catching and you know later in the day once that went picked up it that's that's what keyed me in you know being able to adjust with the conditions and that is where the time on the water really helps I mean having time on the water allows you to be able to read the conditions know when things are changing and know how to adjust when it happens it's very critical but again you know I ended up today probably with like 18 pounds around there I had probably my two best my my best two probably went for 10 and my next three went for eight to nine so it ended up being a really good day and it, what salvaged it was you know being able to adjust change to the conditions on the water downsize my lures and be able to fish in a different fish a different technique than what i normally fish so again you know that was the z-man chatter bait and of course the creature bait those were the two go-to's that got me you know got my fish today and made it a good day definitely salvaged the day but if you like this video I'll give I'm going to be making some more videos as well and getting some more content out there. I'm pumping out a lot of it, so I appreciate the follows and the likes. Follow me at Fiori, Fiori underscore fishing at Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. 
check me out give me a subscribe shoot me shoot me a like and give me a follow i appreciate it guys